pinakbaon din si St. Eudosius at galing din siya ng Turkey. So, halos tagiroon sila, no? Turkeys. <laughs> oh, Turkeys. <laughs> But, okay, sa loob ng monastery ito, meron po dyan, malapad yung uh, area nitong monastery, at nandyan din yung burial site o yung tomb kung saan nakalibing St. Eudosius. At, ah, uh, uh, tawag doon, nung part na yon ay mito pa sa Greek, yung pinakalocation sa loob niyan, no? Ng, ng monastery iyan. And, tan natin. Okay, but the highlights is, pag-uusapan natin, special this is, ah, uh, Uh, very significant especially sa panahon na ni uh, ng uh, tatlong wise men okay and the baby Jesus or the savior that was born here in the Bethlehem okay so right now we are in eastern part of Bethlehem and malalaman natin bakit eastern part kasi we'll be having our bible reference in Matthew chapter 2 special this is related to the story of the wise men and magugulat kayo bakit natin siya kailang puntahan why we are here okay so so first Uh, Matthew chapter 2, okay? Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, so take note, Jesus was born here in the city of Bethlehem, tama? Yes. Okay? In the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. So take note, yung pinakahari na, uh, na mayroon sila noon dito, ay wanag ba ko di si King Herod. Kaya that time, tulad na sinabi ko siya, as we enter Bethlehem, this is the house of bread in Hebrew. In Arabic, this is the house of meat. But during the time of King Herod, this is what he called the house of bread. And you will know why it was called the house of bread. Related in this wonderful passage and uh, reference that we have right now. So King Herod is the king here in the land of Judea. Okay, let's continue. And here comes the three wise men. So they came from East. Alam niyo po kung saan yung East? It was pointed to... Babylon. Nakan? <laughs> the wise came from, it was in Babylon. Okay? Let's continue. So, uh, after then that, nung nagaling yung mga um, three wise men doon sa, sa Babylon, pumunta dito sila sa Jerusalem, and in verse 2, sabi na verse 2, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? So, hinahanap nila itong baby Jesus na ipinanganak dito sa bay sa, sa bayan ng Israel. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship. So take note, may palatandaan para mahanap nila itong uh, tagapagtas na ipinanganak. Ito yung star kung saan ito yung naging palatandaan para maging katugunan sa kanilang nais o yung pinaka goal of purpose ng three wise men why they came here in Holy Land or here in Israel. So verse 8, when here the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem. Jerusalem with him. So take note, nung, na, nung na, nabalitaan ni King Herod na ipinanganak ng tagapag, as he was troubled. Bakit? Kasi this is what he called or why we call this is the house of bread. Kasi natakot siya na meron na siyang karaybal. Pagdating sa kapangyarihan, pagdating sa pusit, akala niya kasi aagawin sa kanya ang trono binakari. Kaya natakot ito si King Herod. Das, pinatawag niya po ito mga Pharisees, okay? At, nila Pharisees, pati, ano pa, yung mga priests, bakit they are the doctor of law way back in the Bible times na pinatawag? They known everything, that's why pinatawag ni King Herod. At gusto niyang pahulaan kung nasaan itong tagapagigtas na ipinanganak. So, gusto niyang itanong siya kung saan ito. At gusto niyang alamin, okay? And after than that, ang sabi dito, verse 5, And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is, for thus it is written by the prophet so diretso na sinagot ng mga Pharisees at the same time mga chief priests that time kay King Herod na ipinanganak ang tagapagigas sa bayan ng Bethlehem which is true and correct okay and let's continue in verse 6 and thou Bethlehem the land of Judah so we are in the land of Judea, Judea or land of Judah the largest land territory in the Binigas tribe in Israel okay are not the least among the princes of Judah for out of this shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel so Ibig sabihin na para sa Cristo, para may purpose. At take note, the, the word Christ, uh, Christ, it came from the Greek word Christus. Ang ibig sabihin ay anointed. The anointed one, okay? And then, let's continue. Yan. Then, Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, okay, inquired of the diligent what time the star appears. So, ito si Herod, malakas din ang kanyang radar. So, nabalita niya ang wise men at uh, naparito at hinahanap ang tagapagtas. Kaya, ang ginawa niya, inapurse niya ito sila. Okay? And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship. So take note, he advised the three, three wise men, if you found 
the Savior tell me and I would like also to come and worship Him. So, ibig sabihin, meron pang dagdag doon sa gustong bumisita sa tagapagligtas na ipinanganak dito sa Beth. Who is that? That is King Herod. So, hindi lang yung wise men na nagaling sa Babylon at nagda, uh, magdadala ng, uh, ng mga regalo bago si King Herod. He wanted to come and to see the Savior. But they had heard the king, they departed Lodastar, which they saw in the east. So, take note, ang panatan mula sa east at ang star yung naging... Uh, naging tour guide ng wise men papunta dito sa tagapaglilaks kung saan ipinanganak went before them till it came and stood over where the, chang, where the young child was. So take note, nung iginay na ng star nung, uh, nung star itong at, atlong wise men, dinala nyo video kung saan ipinanganak ang tagap at dito yung sa bahay ng bit. And take note, the place kung saan talaga ipinanganak ang tagap, it is in milk grotto. That's why if you will try to understand, you will try to study when the three wise men found the Savior, He is not already a baby. He is already a child. Ay, intindihan niyo po? Yes. Okay, good. So, let's continue. So, ang sabi the young child. So, child, it was different from baby. Okay? When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. So, ito yung mga wise men yun. They rejoiced na tagpuan nila. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary's mother. So, nakita niyo. That's why, if you been there in milk grotto you see the illustrations of mary and the baby were mary nursing the baby jesus na konta ba po ba yes good aba talagang ano ah memorable ang journey niyo alam niyo good and let's continue and fell down and worship him and when they had opened their treasures they presented unto him gifts golds and frankincense and so take note when the wise men found the lord jesus christ in the house they worship the Savior. So, ibig sabihin po niyo, sinaba ng tatlong wise men ang pangin sa sapagkat na tagpuanan nila ang kalanghinan. Ang purpose is to worship and to give gifts to the Savior. And what is the meaning of those three gifts? We have the gold. Ang gold, it uh, represents giving directly these gifts to the king. Okay? At ang frankincense naman, alam niyo frankincense? Yung, yung Incenso. Nako, insisto. So, they are so we are offering this or they are offering this in the temple and mayroong aromatic siya na amoy. So, umabango siya. It means it's good for offering. That's why they are giving an offering to the Savior. And lastly, the mirror. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng mirror? So, ang mirror ay ginagamit for embalming. Okay? Mamir kayo? So, mirror is using for embalming. It means God came to na parito si Christ. Ang purpose niya is to experience and it is for us to experience the life and death for humanity. Okay, so yun ang ibig sabihin ng tatlong ba mga ba mahalagang bagay na yun. And let's go. Egypt appeared doon sa mga wise men at remind sila na wag na kayong babalik kay King Herod. Bakit? This is the reason. They depart into their own country another way. So the another day, uh, another way we are pointing here is of the three wise men they spent here or they spent here inside this monastery, yung cave niyan sa loob na yan. Yung mitopadyaan sa loob na yan.